Howdy everyone, it's Sam. Hope you're all doing really well. If you're new around here, hope I can get you to consider liking the content and subscribing to the channel. And if you are a regular around these here parts, thank you very much for the continuous support. There are two things that I just want to make mention of before I get stuck into the Warriors fixture for this year. Number one, my thoughts and prayers are to the people of Auckland right now. Allegedly, reportedly, there are lives that have been lost due to the floods that are happening in Auckland right now. Um, such uh, such an awful event that's going on uh, over there. Um, so my thoughts and condolences, prayers uh, to the people of Auckland. And second of all, I'm incredibly disappointed that uh, the New Zealand Warriors did not get at least 80% of their fixture in their own country over in New Zealand. I could waffle on, and I'm sure all of you know, uh, I could wobble me jaw for, for a good hour or so on this subject, but for only one team to give up their home game in 2023 to New Zealand for the Warriors, um, I think it's incredibly disappointing. And I've got to be honest, it's, it's disappointing that my team, Cowboys couldn't afford to give up a home game uh, to take over to New Zealand as well. I understand why, but I think we could have made that sacrifice for one year only, considering the New Zealand Warriors put up the greatest sacrifice, arguably the greatest sacrifice in rugby league history for about two or three seasons there. So, uh, yeah, I, I think it's incredibly disappointing that the Warriors did not get a huge majority of their fixture Um in New Zealand for 2023. I would have done one game at Suncorp or two games at Suncorp, including Magic Round, and then two games in Sydney or two games in New South Wales. That's that's how I would have done it. Um, so anyway, without further ado, let's get stuck into the New Zealand Warriors 2023 draw. kick off their 2023 campaign not at Mount Smart Stadium but at Sky Stadium in Wellington they host the Newcastle Knights and this is a battle of two teams that finished inside the bottom four this is happening on a Friday night uh, and it's fair dink and Friday night footy over in New Zealand kickoff here in Queensland is going to be 5 p.m uh, but the Warriors and Knights uh, to kick things off uh, on on a Friday night in round one very very cool Round number two and three, they hit the road. Uh, they travel to Allianz Stadium for the first time in history to take on the Sydney Roosters, Saturday, 2 p.m. Queensland time, 3 p.m. New South Wales. Uh, and then they're back on the road again, or back on the plane again, to take on the North Queensland Cowboys up in Townsville at Queensland Country Bank Stadium. Uh, and that contest is taking place Saturday, twilight in round number three so they start a home game away from mount smart but still in new zealand and then they travel over to new south wales back home travel up to queensland and that's two away games uh to in the first three rounds for the new zealand warriors then they're back at home to take on the canterbury bankstown bulldogs at mount spart stadium that is the first fair income game for 2023 at mount smart uh and considering what's going over on uh, what's going down in Auckland at the moment. I imagine it could be a bit of an emotional game as well. So Warriors and Bulldogs in round number four, Sunday, 2 p.m. New South Wales time. And then to round out their first section for 2023, uh, they make a return to Points Bet Stadium at Cronulla to take on the Sharks Sunday Channel 9 footy. And after the contest that these two provided last season where uh, the Sharks were down two men in, in the sin bin and the Warriors still couldn't, get over the top of them uh, in what was an infamous or famous loss or victory, however way you want to look at it. Um, yeah, there's there's a few demons that the Warriors would want to exercise in this contest and to have it be once again on Channel 9, 
I think this could be a little bit closer. I think it could be a very close game, actually. Uh, but to round out their first uh, fi uh, their first section for 2023, the Warriors, Knights, Roosters, Cowboys, Bulldogs, and the Sharks. Besides Newcastle, and there's a case to be made for the Bulldogs as well, uh, three of those sides finished inside the top four in 2022, and they've taken on two of them away from home. Uh, so that is not a smooth start and not a very nice thank you for what you did for two and a half, three years, Warriors. Here's how you start off your season in 2023. That Cronulla game in round number five is actually the start of their second back-to-back uh, -back away trip. So they go to Pointsbet Stadium in round five and then to start section two of their season, they travel up. Uh, to McDonald Jones Stadium to take on the Newcastle Knights. So they get the Knights well and truly done inside the first six rounds this season. Probably could be, potentially, be two wins in the bag already for the New Zealand Warriors, depending on the result of round one, of course. Uh, but that's two two back-to-back -back away fixtures for the New Zealand Warriors inside the first six rounds uh, of the season. Then in round seven, they get the Cowboys done early on in 2023, uh, where they host the North Queensland Cowboys at Mount Smart Stadium. Uh, and that's a Saturday 3 p.m. game uh, here in Queensland. And I think that's when Daylight Saving actually finishes. Uh, and also that Knights and Warriors contest just previously is a Sunday Twilight fixture as well. Round seven comes about and they play on a Tuesday night in the annual traditional Anzac Day clash against the Melbourne Storm at Amy Park. Should have been at Mount Smart Stadium. Forgive me if you're already bored of me uh, half ranting, but is what it is, man. Uh, but Storm Warriors, we know what happened last year. They conceded 70 plus points or 70 points, sorry. Uh, and look, man, you talk about exercising demons before. Man, this, this fixture is in jeopardy for the Warriors if they do not show up in this contest. There, there, needs to be, there needs to be a really good effort from the Warriors in this Anzac Day game. Then they finally, they finally have two, <laughs> they have two technically home games. Round number nine, they host the Sydney Roosters at Mount Smart Stadium, Sunday, 2 p.m. Then their second home game that they've given up is at Suncorp Stadium for Magic Round where they host the Penrith Panthers. Um, I don't know why the Warriors would even give up a home game in 2023, to be honest with you, but there's finances and there's all sorts of stuff that go into it as well. So the the section, section two for 2023 features Newcastle, Cowboys, Melbourne, Roosters, and the Penrith Panthers. Uh, oh man, thanks Warriors. Section three is where things could change for the New Zealand Warriors for, for the better if it isn't already going all right for them, obviously. Uh, section three is when Origin Stars are going to be representing uh, in the representative fixtures. And the New Zealand Warriors, just off the top of my head, I don't think they're going to have any state of origin representatives uh, it come, come that time, uh, which means they're going to play play a full strength squad uh, throughout that origin period. Like they sometimes or usually do they sometimes do so round number 11 they are away to the canterbury bankstown bulldogs on a friday night 6 p.m and that's out at a core stadium for the new zealand warriors round number 12 they have their first buy of 2023 then that marks Once they come back from their buy, they stay in New Zealand for two straight weeks. They have two straight home buys, uh, two straight home games. Ooh, uh, round number 13 is going to be an origin affected round. They take on the Brisbane Broncos. Potentially, Katoni Sags could be out. Payne Haas could potentially be out. New Zealand Warriors, by and large, should be full strength. Uh, in that match and it's not happening at Mount Smart Stadium it's happening at McLean Park in Napier and while I need to do my research uh, because the campaign 2023 hasn't started yet off the top of me dome I think that's the first time ever a game's being played in Napier I might be wrong but I'll get that right by the time that round 13 comes about round number 14 they have their first ever game 
against the Red Cliff Dolphins, and it's taking place at Mount Smart Stadium. Uh, and that's happening a Saturday, 3 p.m. here in Australia. And if I didn't mention it before, that Brisbane Broncos game the week previously in round 13 is Saturday, 5.30 p.m. here in Australia. And then to finish up section three of their 2023 campaign, they hit the road to take on the Canberra Raiders at GIO Stadium in round 15, Friday, 6 p.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time. And the past few contests between these two sides at Canberra have been wild contests. Uh, so looking forward to that one. So to round things up inside section three for the Warriors, they have their first buy. They got the war they got the Bulldogs, Broncos, Dolphins, and Raiders. I think they I think if you're a Warrior supporter, you must be saying to yourselves, you've got to go at least two and two inside section three of 2023. Section four of the 2023 season, it's where fatigue really starts to come uh, come to the foray, comes to the front. Uh, but thankfully the Warriors in round 16 to start off their uh, fourth section, they have their second buy of three uh, for 2023, but they don't go back home. So round 15 is a trip to Canberra. They have a buy. Then they travel to Wynn Stadium to take on the St. George Illawarra Dragons on Friday night football, a Channel 9 Friday night football game against the St. George Illawarra Dragons. Then they're back at home against the New Zealand, against the South Sydney Rabbitohs, excuse me, uh, for, for Friday night football at Mount Smart Stadium. Round number 19. Round number 19, they then travel back to Australia to take on the Parramatta Eels at Combank Stadium, Saturday, 5.30 p.m. I think that's going to be an origin-affected game as well. So potentially their two front row forwards, the Parramatta Eels I'm talking about here, Regan Campbell-Gillard and Junior Paolo could be missing from that contest and the Warriors could could spring an upset with a full-strength squad, uh, barring injuries, and I touch wood when I say that too. Uh, then round 20, they are back at home at Mount Smart Stadium, Sunday afternoon football uh, at 2 o'clock kickoff here in Australia to take on the Cronulla Sharks. So section four, the strength of opposition is actually difficult, um, but these th th those sides are going to have origin representatives in them, South Sydney, Parramatta Eels, and the Sharkies. So there could be a little bit of luck presented to them in the form of resting players um, inside those rounds. So they do have that um, that game against the Dragons too. So they could win that as well. That's 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 another one. That's a section four is another one where you say they've got to go at least two and two. Then section five, their run to the finals. What does it look like? It starts in round 21 and they host the Canberra Raiders Friday night football or 6 p.m. kickoff here in Australia. So that's two straight home games, two back-to-back -back home games uh, or back-to-back -back home games for the New Zealand Warriors, the Sharks and the Raiders. Then they have their third and final bye of 2023 in round number 22. So then from round 23 onwards, uh, it's it's hell for leather, bro. It's it's uh, no holds barred for the New Zealand Warriors. And how does it start with back-to-back -back away games? Uh, their first away trip in round 23 is against the Gold Coast Titans up at Seabus Super Stadium. That's a Friday 6 p.m. game. Round 24, uh, well, actually, no, I take that back. Uh, technically, they are the away side, but they don't leave uh, the country, New Zealand. The West Tigers have selected to take their home game to FMG Stadium in Waikato, Hamilton, uh, Saturday, 5.30 p.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time. So I absolutely applaud the West Tigers for taking a game uh, over, to, uh, over across the ditch uh, for the New Zealand Warriors, round 24. Uh, then they take on the Manly Sea Eagles at home at Mount Smart Stadium. So that's back-to-back -back games where they don't leave New Zealand, which is fantastic. It's the least that they deserve to. Uh, Friday, Friday night football, 6 p.m. here in Australia against the Manly Sea Eagles. And round 26, the penultimate round of the, uh, of the, of the season, they host the St. George Illawarra Dragons at Mount Smart Stadium on a Friday night. Again, 6 p.m. here in Australia. Um, I'm glad to see that the New Zealand Warriors are really making that Friday night fixture permanent. Um, so there should be bumper crowds uh, throughout most of most of their season, which is great. And that will be their last home game of the season as well, round 26 against the St. George Illawarra Dragons. Finally, in the final round of the regular season, 
Round 27, they travel to Suncorp Stadium to take on the Redcliffe Dolphins Saturday, 3 p.m. Uh, and the, the Queenslanders, uh, well, sorry, the, war, the Warriors have a fair fan base in Queensland, so they'll make the trip to the Gold Coast. There will be plenty of fans uh, at Magic Round and for this clash against the Dolphins. To summarize their run to the finals, there is a buy in there. They have the Raiders, the Titans, the Tigers, Manly, Dragons and the Dolphins. As far as strength of opposition goes, that's not a bad run for the New Zealand Warriors. And there is a period there where they only leave the country uh, once in the space of a month or so. So there's a really nice period there that they very much deserve come hell or high water um, until they travel up to uh, Suncorp Stadium in the final uh, round. Um, it's not too bad. It's not. It's not too bad for the Warriors. Actually, I put them somewhere in the middle. It's. It's not the. It's not the easiest draw. There's. I mean, they. They are the most. They. They are the side that is travelling the most in 2023. Uh, the Cowboys are the second uh, team that is travelling, clocking up the most kilometres uh, this season. So, it's not the toughest draw so far as strength of opposition goes. Um, and their start to the season is a prick. Uh, for all that they did um, over the past few years to be given Roosters and Cowboys away back to back in round two and three, and then a trip to Shark Park. Uh, yeah, that's it's it's a bit of a prick uh, start to the season and then so on and so forth. So I think their second half of the season is set up for them to go on a massive run if they're good enough, if they can do it. I think there's a lot of potential there for the Warriors to make a massive run. So if you're a Warriors fan, I'd say that be patient. Be patient, and I think everyone knows that already. It's a, it's a brand new coach, many new players. It's the start of a new era, but you've got to add on top of that that I think the second half of the season is going to be a lot more fruitful for the New Zealand Warriors uh, with origin or a lack of origin representation uh, and the fact that there is a period there for a month the Warriors do not leave their country of New Zealand. Um, only one more to go, guys. Thank you very much for your continuous support. And I'll see you guys for the last episode of Overlooking Draws in two, for the 2023 season. Adios.